Double pulling forms the foundational upper body movement for all cross country skiing. In fact, especially skating. So even if you only are a skate skier, it's important to develop good double pulling technique. The first drill we can do, counterintuitively, is without our poles. But standing on our roller skis, we can essentially just do a standing broad jump to feel the timing of double pulling. Similar to broad jump, everything comes forward together. We can really see that forward body position here. Next, we can put our poles back on and think about falling forward from the ankle only to catch ourselves on our poles. Our next drill focuses on good initial crunch by exaggerating the speed of our polling. Conversely, we can also exaggerate the other way with a really drawn out long polling motion. Good double pole technique is found between the two extremes. So our next drill will be alternating between three exaggerated short poles and three exaggerated long poles. Our last drill will focus on moving our hands and hips together as they go forward and back. This will help improve our timing in double pull and allow for better power application. Now we can put it all together, thinking about a good powerful crunch with the core and applying good power.